Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Krollmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is rated T for Teen for strong language and mature themes. If you don't like that, well, heck, that's just fine. Why don't you head on over to another podcast? Because there's a podcast about everything in this world. Is that cleaner? Is that better? Yes. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. All right. <laughs> so what are we talking about today, sister? Um, today, we're combining the two things that people love, brackets and us being salty about things, and we're putting them together in a bracket about terrible places. Yeah. So this topic <laughs> was suggested to uh, uh, this topic was suggested to us by our friend Carol, who got it from a Tumblr post by Nancy the Drew. So really indirectly, thank you, Nancy the Drew, for the Tumblr post. I did not read that Tumblr post because I did not want my um my opinions to be colored mm-hmm. by that. Um, so I'm just saying thank you for the idea by making that Tumblr post. I'll try to link to the Tumblr post in the description. Do if it. If I remember. If I remember. I'm not going to promise for... Okay, so let's get started pre-qualifier round. Which Ooh. has the worst location? Deadly device or danger by design? I want to outright say danger by design is the worst location. Yes. Yeah, it's one of those, let's, It's sorry, like Paris should be friend. good. Paris should be a good location. It should be. There's a lot of beautiful shit there. But it's, they don't show us the, we, we go into a just nasty looking, <laughs> like, yeah. the, the Moulin is not good looking. It does not look nice. No. Um. It's just kind of damp. I can smell the damp concrete right. brick. Just the, just the brick and stone. It doesn't, yeah. it's not nice. It's not. I don't care for it. It's like we do get to go to the park and everything, but I just find that... Yeah, the but at the park there's device. all those people. Yeah. Deadly Device is just nice. Like, I like being there. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're snowed in and everything, but like, it's nice and bright. Yeah. So I would say Danger by Design. Yes, okay. for sure. Round one. Phantom of Venice versus Danger by Design. This is very <laughs> on par because <laughs> they are both fantastic cities, but terrible. Like, yeah. I still, however, I think Phantom of Venice is a better location. I think they did a better job of showing yes. us Venice. They at least, like... Um, took some of the well-known aspects and they kind of made them more front and center, even if everything yeah. looks disgusting and dirty and, and you know, Ill, ill-populated and all that shit. At least it's not... We do at least get to go to the catacombs in do the Andrew by Design, which is a plus, but I hate dealing through the sewers and having yeah. to... Die. Like, that, it's stressful... It's, that said, I don't want to don't want to go diving in sewers. That said, we do have to deal with water in. Yeah, but it's not it's not as bad. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. Well, <laughs> I say danger by design. I still I still say danger by. Yeah, danger by design is worse, but you yeah. know. Okay. Uh, Secret of the Scarlet Hand versus Alibi and Ashes. For worst location. So Alibi and Ashes is just boring. Yeah. Um, and small town America makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> yes. It's a whole lot of white people. Awful lot of honkies. So. I definitely am going to sit and <laughs> Especially Ashes given over. the hostility from all the people we can interact with. Even if you're a person they like, they will just, like, ugh. And even the characters they like. Like, I love Alexi, but he is so awful to Bess. He, yeah, he is. The thing is, is, like, 
Secret of the Scarlet Hand is in a museum. And it's yeah. lovely. And the sound design is great. I, I just love being there. River Heights freaks me out. Right. And even, like, okay, we go to <laughs> the claustrophobic uh, office where um, um, Alejandro works. Yeah. But even then, it's like, you feel like, oh, yeah, this is a this is a place. Yeah. This, this is a consulate. It, it's like, oh man, yeah, he, he, the consulate should be in, in a better location. Look at how, you know, it's like, it's very, it makes sense. Yeah. Every, I feel like every location other than Nancy's house in River Heights, that's all really mm-hmm. small and claustrophobic. Like, yeah. there's nothing to the places. Like, and, and that's the thing. Um, Nancy's house, huge, Gigantic. and yet there's so much you can't do or go to that it's just, uh, it's useless and therefore claustrophobic. does not help that we travel by um, a map and, like, that feels like just going into flat land. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, Alibi and Ash is definitely worse location. I think Absolutely. that's going to be everyone's like number one, like what, when they <laughs> listen to this. We just, you know, it's just not our cup of tea. Sea of Darkness versus Secret of the Old Clock. That's actually hard for me hmm. because they're both lovely locations. They are. They're just lovely. Yeah. Um, I'm, I think Secret of the Old Clock just because it's not as beautiful as... Being know. by the ocean I mean, while watching the aurora overhead, and true. just I just think that's and being able, it's like nice and chilly and everything like that. Yeah, sounds lovely. Yeah. Okay. I then I I, I will say. Um, and there's a the lighthouse. <laughs> that is always a plus. It is so secret of the old clock. Lovely location. I don't think it's going to make it very far in this round, but. And, you know, it it's just not as good as Iceland, I guess. I guess. I mean, Iceland's pretty rad. Okay. So, Creature of Kapu Cave versus Treasure and Royal Tower. The Royal Tower. Uh, I'm going to say Treasure and the Royal Tower. Absolutely. Um, it's not it's, Hawaii. It, for first of all, it's not Hawaii. And they do a killer job making that whole game atmospheric and just like y- y- you're walking around a, some some little uh, island town it's 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 good it's really nice um not one of our favorite games but it's a very no. nice location yeah it's always, it's always it's always got a good vibe for me as but opposed then, to wisconsin like yeah. sorry guys and not even and i'm sorry we don't even go outside much no, we don't we, go outside, like, at all. We, so it's not like we go to, like, pretty locations. Like, uh, there's beautiful, you know, snowbanks, shit like that, that we should be able to see, but we don't. Because we don't go outside. Because the whole point of it is we're trapped inside during a blizzard. And it's like... We get to go out to We're the being held garden. hostage for this game. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. Uh... Dane on Deception Island versus White Wolf of Icicle Creek. I'm going to have to go with White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Yes. Not for lack of it being a nice location. It is fantastic location. It is. But it's um, not Deception Island. And I, I love the, like, kitschy displays in, um, in everything. And just, oh, I love secret tunnels and... and, and I mean, to be fair, you could be talking about either game right now. This is true. You could Um, literally... Secret tunnels, kitschy decor. The difference um, is between, um, like, June gloom or uh, during (laughs) icy winter. So it's like, hmm, June gloom. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, so we're going to just say, sorry, Ice Cool Creek. You're gonna, and, you're, I love a good nautical atmosphere. It's true. Um, Ransom of the Seven Ships versus Stay Tuned for Danger. Okay. Uh, Stay Tuned for Danger because uh, I think the atmosphere and the environment is like the only good thing about Ransom of the Seven <laughs> Ships. That and the yeah. music. That's it. That's all it gets. That and honestly, 
lack of assholes. Like, there's one asshole, and we yeah. can just not deal with him for most of the game. Yeah. Whereas Stay Tuned for Danger feels like a, it's having multiple building code violations. Yes. Um, it feels like a crumbling soundstage. It does, yeah. Stay Tuned for Danger just, it it's doesn't, it just isn't as good as... That, and that's... Okay, yeah, okay. We'll just move on. We'll come back to talking and about it at some point. Good, there are interesting parts of New York. There are, like, yes. Ooh, Haunting of Castle Malloy versus Captive Curse. Difficult because they're yeah. both castles at night, which is very high in Risa land, to be honest. So, a castle and a cat. Hi, ma'am. Chill. Sorry, kitten. <laughs> <laughs> no, my hand is not a play toy. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to say... Okay, so, like, really, Haunting of Castle Malloy is the worst location. It is. Um, but I enjoy it more. <laughs> okay, here's the difference. Um, I love the atmosphere of um, Haunting of Castle Malloy. Uh, I I love the dilapidated feel. I love the the that the very emptiness of that like main hall. Uh, you know what I mean, like the yeah yeah when you enter the castle. Oh, so good. And uh, I, I I love the feel of the uh, the pub. Yes, but honestly, uh, Captive Curse is visually stunning. It is. And since you're looking out for money everywhere, you're looking at everything. And so they made sure to make things worth looking at. I agree that it is the better location. There is a glass shop, which makes it immediately very high. A castle at night with the glass blowing studio. They're mm -hmm. very good. I will and, begrudgingly say that Captive Curse and I Castle love Finster is the better location. But. Yeah. I know. I know. I agree. It's not it's not that um Haunting of Castle Malloy is a bad location. Yeah. It's that Captive Curse is It's nicer. It's 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 at least more put together. Yes. You know, because it has a roof. <laughs> yeah. And it's well lit. And I don't yeah. have to go around the fucking marshes uh, and, and looking for Bog. sheep. Whatever. Bog. Sorry. Bog. Bogs. <laughs> yeah, Ariana, you can't get bogs and marshes and swamps and fens all mixed up. They're very different. That said, have you seen that Nazi laboratory? <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Silent Spy versus Curse of Blackmore Manor. So Silent Spy could be amazing. If we actually got to see Glasgow, we don't. Yeah, we don't. Um, but then again, Blackmore Manor feels terrible. That place has just a putrid vibe. It does. It it you. It's. I think it's it's just one of those things with like ancestral homes. Yeah. Is is that. Uh, you can feel the years. Yeah, I'm just gonna... You can feel the trauma that's happened, and it's like, ew, I don't want to be here. Like, yeah. I don't. I don't want to be there. Like, it's it's lovely. It's a beautiful... Uh, but it, I don't like it as a location. No. Okay. Warnings at Waverly Academy versus... Last Train to Blue Moon Canyon. Now, this is really rough because I like them both. <laughs> However, one of them is a train. Rather which a train. is an amazing location. It goes so... train, graveyard, burger joint, uh, and then it, through freaking caves. Like Yeah, it is. That's that's a great location. It's delightful. So, Waverly that's Academy. A, Waverly sorry. Academy is all is at least prettier. You know, it's very pretty. But and it's not it's it's not the better location. It's, it's the worst not. location. It, it kind too. of suffers for uh, the people that populate it in part. Yeah. I think that, that no, in almost entirely. Yeah. yeah. Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake versus Labyrinth of Lies. 
See, again, Labyrinth of Lies, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. It looks fantastic. But I think Ghost Dogs of Moonlight is a better location. Mm-hmm. I just think yeah. it's it's better. I just really like being by a lake and just bodies of water. Again, like yeah. that's that's high up on our list, apparently. Bodies of water. <laughs> Labyrinth of Lies would have been an amazing location if we'd actually gotten to see Greece. Yeah. But we didn't. We didn't get to go see Greece at all. There's no Greece in it. There's, like, we there's didn't even literally get, like, a nonsensical underground uh, stage set And we didn't even get thing. to have, like, food of any kind. Like, you're going to really go to Greece and not introduce people to, like, baklava? Oh, my gosh. Like, it, it, some of the simplest stuff. I don't, I don't care if you just have freaking euros. Like, get mm. something in there. Like, oh. Stuffed grape leaves. I was just getting ready to say, mm. stuffed grape leaves are the one thing that immediately comes to my mind. Yeah. I just, mm. Mm. so good. And euros, definitely. Mm. For sure. See, that's all they could, they needed to do to make it better. But as it stands, it's the worst location of the two. It is. <laughs> it's major, it's most major crime, cutting out the culture. Indeed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Haunted Carousel versus Tomb of the Lost Queen. Both of them are kind of terrifying, really. And both of them also leave me very disappointed. Yes. Because they could if have there's done things so I love, <laughs> tombs are great. Tombs are awesome. And, and you know, I'm most kids have, have that Egyptology phase. So, you know, and yet, you're going to get a lot of excitement around it. I... And yet they completely took, again, the culture. Why do we not actually get to go be in Egypt? Why are I we stuck know. at this one location? Okay, this this what I can tell you, though. Because they didn't know anything about Egypt. <laughs> They're like, uh, we don't want to have to. They're like, no, it's empty desert, right? Yeah. <laughs> People don't live there. No. Oh. So irritating, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but what was it up against? Uh, Haunted Carousel. And Haunted Carousel, um, which I'm going to say is probably the better location for me, yeah, so, um, is so underdeveloped. Like, they could have done so much with it. But it's less uh, disappointing than Tomb of the Lost Queen. Yes, because honestly, especially by that point, by the time, by, by that point in their graphics, I was expecting more. I know. It's just not, it's kind of like... The entire game has, like, a gray cast to it. Yeah. And it's that's not... really weird in, in, in the, uh, the warm desert. Like, yeah. having it, I don't know. It's I don't know about that. Okay. So, Tomb of the Lost Queen worse is the worst one. Okay. <laughs> um, Shattered Medallion versus Legend of the Crystal Skull. Both are fantastic locations. They are. That said, Legend of the Crystal Skull, we get to experience the area we're in. Yes. Even if only in very... It, it, it's, it's so small. The but places it's you can more... go... But it's so good and rich. And it's, it's... Even if it's putting you in just like a storybook version of New Orleans, it's still just really great. It's a fun place to be. Um... Shattered, Shattered medallion, medallion is gorgeous. We are in New Zealand. Yeah, we don't get to see anything about New Zealand. We are in New Zealand on a fucking soundstage that has to phone in nature. Like, yeah, it's it's so disappointing. But is it <sighs> location wise? And they right? could have done a, a Hobbit joke somewhere in there. Yeah, they could have, and they didn't. The question then is: Is it the worst location? Because technically, Crystal Skull, the house is, like, falling apart. It's, everything's all higgledy-piggledy. I personally mm -hmm. like the, I, I, I like the comfort of it's um, been being situated. It's, it's being situated versus in um, Shattered Medallion. You are all over the place. Yeah. And, um... That said, it's all beautiful, but it's your, 
I guess it's my agoraphobia. And, yeah, I was um, just about to say, because I'm like, there's like no indoors bits in that game. <laughs> yeah, and it makes me anxious. Yes. Basically, I feel on edge until we're in that little dome where something tries to crush us. Yeah. So that's, what about that's the wolf worse. shed? The wolf shed's inside. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> I mean, between the hay and the sheep, <laughs> man. I will not be having any allergy problems whatsoever. Of course not. Um, <laughs> next up, we have Midnight in Salem versus Message in a Haunted Mansion. Oof. Both of those suffer from pretty much the same issue I have. Of yeah. just being a great location done really poorly. Yep, both of them. Um, I'm gonna say... Oh, man. That's actually really hard. Because Message in a Haunted Mansion, we are stuck in one spot. That's it. It's not, like, a great environment. The vibe there is very off. Um, But Midnight in Salem, while it's really pretty, and we do get to go into a cemetery, it is also just, like, wonky. (laughs) It is. Oh, it's absolutely wonky. Um, That said, I feel like... Because I... What I like about both of these games is Mm -hmm. the vibes that the locations give you. Um, And they both give, like, a cool vibe. But the thing is, um, Message in a Haunted Mansion uh, suffers from being a continuous vibe. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Midnight in Salem, you get different vibes in different locations. Like, you feel totally different in um, the middle of the woods than you do in uh, Lauren's shop. Like, yeah. So, okay, so I'm, we're saying Message say, in a Haunted Mansion is the worst of the two? Yes, yes. Okay. This is going to... We're just messing with everybody's minds. Apparently. Um. So, final scene versus Trail of the Twister. Trail of the Twister is worse. Yeah, end story. Okay. Um. Secrets can kill versus Shadow at the Water's Edge. Secrets can kill. Yeah. It's It's not... It's not great. Um, ooh, Ghost of Thornton Hall versus Shadow Ranch. That's hard, because they're both amazing locations. Oh, they are amazing locations. Um, I am going to go with Thornton Hall for being the worst location, not because it's supposed, like, not because it's, it's bad despite what it's supposed to be, but because as a place... The vibes are worse. <laughs> it's it's like a lot. It's yes. claustrophobic to me um, because everything is like pushing in. Um, whereas Shadow Ranch, I like it feels homey. It feels bright mm-hmm. and everything is nice and clear and in the sun. And it's again another one of those, um, you know, one vibe versus... Mm-hmm. Several, you know, a very yeah. vibe. So, yeah. so we love you, Thornton Hall, but you are the worst location of the two. Our hearts go out to you, but not because you're terrible. Okay, so Danger by Design versus Alibi and Ashes. Okay, do I hate <sighs> France or <laughs> small town America more? <laughs> I don't hate either. I want you guys to know. Yeah, just so we're clear. <laughs> I'm. This is a joke. I have nothing against it's... either place, really. Um, I we're kind using of generalizations. Say, That's... I want to say River Heights is the worst location. I yes. At least there's if... more to Paris. <laughs> yes, exactly. I f- we're kind of constantly surrounded, and everybody knows who we are and what's going on and it just feels it it, everything feels hostile whereas it feels like nobody notices us in um in paris it's like hmm. we're just that girl walking through paris like ah indeed yeah Yeah. um in our mom jeans in our mom jeans uh okay so treasure royal tower versus secret of the old clock treasure royal tower I yeah, think the Lilac sure. Inn is a better location, so. Yeah. Wickford Castle it is. 
Okay, stay tuned for Danger versus White Wolf of Icicle Creek. Stay tuned for Danger? Because uh, I like Icicle Creek. Like, yeah, I like that I was, place. I was going to say, it's uh, there are parts that I really love about um, stay tuned the for locations danger. in Stay Tuned yeah. for Danger. Um, but objectively, the the ice one is so it's much better nice. it's, yeah it's, it's it's also just graphically better it's yeah it's graphically better and uh, yeah it's it's and it's not so grungy feeling yeah so it's, it, it's, it's all like, open air and stay tuned and, for danger feels very familiar but mm-hmm. that's not good <laughs> yeah like going back to your 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 um your high school and and being like wow everything's so much smaller or just like, oh god, yeah, no, I felt uncomfortable here all the time. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh right, that's where I felt guilty for something that I should not have felt guilty for. What the fuck? So it's like, no, let's just move on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> however, next one, very difficult. Haunting of Castle Malloy versus Curse of Blackmore Manor. Because those are both rancid vibes. Yeah. Really? I adore i know i was saying earlier castle malloy is like a great place but then you reminded me of the nazi scientist lab um yeah. Makes and then the entire I'm place about, feel worse then i'm also thinking about the nursery um and yeah but then that versus blackmore manor which is yeah. like who yeah the the both of them with the familial trauma and it's just disturbing see because where where you have the um the horrible history in um uh castle malloy in blackmore manor it's a stylized history which is almost fetishistic. It's um, weird. In its treatment of a specific genealogy. And it's, it's, it's grody. Um, yeah, it feels at least, bad. At least I could go out and be like, sheep! Uh, <laughs> at Castle yeah. Malloy. <laughs> yeah, at least in Castle Malloy, it's like the low, hmm. The, at least you can enjoy uh, early June Ireland at night. Yeah. As opposed to, whew, yeah, okay. Curse of Blackmore Manor is the worst location. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. Okay. Uh, Waverly Academy versus Labyrinth of Lies. Um, uh, Labyrinth of Lies. Yeah. Uh, if nothing else, it's nonsensical. I don't care for that. <laughs> okay. Tomb of the Lost Queen versus Shattered Medallion. Tomb of the Lost Queen. Yeah. Cause it's just not, it doesn't have the prettiness to back it up. Exactly. Okay. Message in a Haunted Mansion versus Trail of the Twister. Um, Rough. Because while I prefer the game Haunted Mansion, I feel like at least in Trail of the Twister... We can, like, leave the places and walk yeah. out of that uncomfortable situation and get to just go take pictures of clouds. Mm-hmm. Um, as opposed to Message in a Haunted Mansion where we're stuck inside the entire time in a very awkward... Like, that's... It's an uncomfortable vibe. Yeah. Every... <sighs> there's so much that's uncomfortable about it. Everything. <sighs> yeah. It's... Yeah. It's uncomfortable. Um, but, uh, yeah, yeah. Trail the Twister, we're, we're, at least we're chasing storms. That's pretty yeah. cool. We get to go look at clouds, yeah. and we just get to, you know, drive around. Yeah, you know what? I don't like the game, but honestly, it's got good good little places. Good little places. Okay. Yeah. Um, Secrets Can Kill versus Ghost of Thornton Hall. Secrets Can Kill. Yes. Talk about rancid vibes. Okay. <laughs> Alibi and Ashes versus Treasure in a Royal Tower. Hmm. Ugh. I, 
I guess treasure in a royal tower because it's 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 a facsimile let's start there and and it feels like it's trying too hard because of it um additionally you know stuck in that place yeah um whereas alibi and ashes you know at least you can go to a bunch of different places <laughs> yeah i just don't it's the vibe is so so off yeah. in river heights it really I, is. I can't I I'm going to agree that the no it's hard because I really want to say River Heights is the worst location. I'll be real. There's a lot of white people in these places that I just don't like. Yeah. Not not it's not that I'm actively you know I'm, you I'm guys saying, know what we mean. It's just I I just feel uncomfortable. In River Heights. Yeah. I feel like I would be watched. Yeah. I, I at feel least, like... At least we could just go I lock stopped, ourselves in our room in... Um... If I stopped in in River Heights, like, someone would be following me because I'm wearing a mask and, like, keeping an eye on me. I... I would not stop to get gas there. I would not either. And that's why I'm going to say River Heights is a worse location. Yeah. <laughs> damn i you know yeah. stay tuned for danger versus curse of blackmore manor curse of blackmore manor yeah that yeah that's yeah me. honestly if 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 for no other reason than the lovely um prop room yeah exactly that's that's better but yeah. curse of blackmore manor we've already talked about how yeah. Uncomfortable. Okay, Labyrinth of Lies versus Tomb of the Lost Queen. They're one in the same. <laughs> they really are. Um shit. Uh that said, uh, there's at least a variety of lovely if weird uh sets that we get to explore. Yeah, as opposed to um, Tomb of the Lost Queen, which is just beige. sand. Yeah. There's just, there's nothing, there's, and the things that are there, we can't even, like, really look at. You know what I mean? Like, the yeah. architecture and stuff, like, we don't yeah. actually look at any of that stuff or deal with it, really. Yeah. <sighs> Nancy doesn't appreciate This is also such being. a recently discovered yeah. um, location, and yet everything no seems here. to have been touched so much, and that doesn't that doesn't track. I don't. Okay, so I don't like Tomb it. of the Lost Queen. Yeah, it's definitely a worse location. Okay, Message in a Haunted Mansion versus Secrets Can Kill. I say Secrets Can Kill. Yeah, because we Message haven't even gone mansion. into it yet. <laughs> Message in a Haunted Mansion, honestly, just uh, feels like when I worked at the resort. It's it's just a bunch of people that don't know how to be around each other and I don't want to be around in general. Um and <laughs> really tacky decor and and just too close. Too yeah. close. Okay. We got our semifinals now. Ooh. Okay. Alibi and Ashes versus Curse of Blackware Manor. That's difficult for me. I'll go with whichever way you say. Honestly? Oh, by a hair? Um, I'm gonna say Alibi and Ashes. Yes, thank you. Uh, literally I just <laughs> by a hair? Beca I think it's because it's so many more active participants in the... <laughs> I just feel uncomfortable. Someone throws a rock through Nancy's window. It, yeah, that's... Oh my god, I wasn't even thinking about that. I totally forgot. Jesus like, people what? are, like... Are seriously out to get us in this game. Like, it is so bad. People are, like, actively it, reveling in our, like, downfall. <laughs> that's what it is. You remember the uh, very first R.L. Stein book, uh, Goosebump book? Um yes. 
Welcome to Dead House. Yes. Basically, the kids were in a town that it turned out everybody there was dead. Uh, spoiler alert. Um, wow, you said you said spoiler after the spoiler. <laughs> Fine, I'll edit it differently. No, I won't. Um, <laughs> uh, and, and, and everybody's like trying to coerce them into doing things. And it's like, oh, oh, oh. that's how River Heights feels to me. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, River Heights is worse than Blackmore Manor. Um. Two of the Lost goosebumps. Queen. Tomb of the Lost Queen versus Secrets Can Kill. We haven't actually talked about Secrets Can Kill yet. It's just won everything. Um. So <laughs> Secrets Can Kill, I think, is just it feels bad. You are at a school where a child was murdered and yeah. no one cares, and the, you see everywhere are the notes from the dead child trying to aid you in your investigation. And that is fucked up. It is just... Mm. It, it is some Twin Peaks level of, of absolute... Uh, just... <sighs> bizarre and... and Everybody's so happy he's dead. They are. And he left these notes crying for help, basically. And... Yeah. Like, Christ almighty. Yeah. And, and it's a school. I mean... Yeah. High schools in general have terrible vibes. Yeah. Um, just a lot that goes on there that's not great. <laughs> um... So I think that wins over Tomb of the Lost Queen. I think it's the worst location. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so <laughs> small town America versus small town America. Uh-oh. Um, River Heights versus Paseo del Mar. Um, you know, I'll take Twin Peaks over um, Goosebumps Town. I'll be real. <laughs> okay. So we're officially saying that River Heights is the worst location in the game. Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Nancy, your hometown blows. We get why you're out all the time. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> like, honestly. Okay. Well, so that's what we have scientifically concluded to be the worst location in the Nancy Drew games. Um, if you guys, I will include this blank bracket in the description so you guys can also perform this very important um, experiment. But if you replicate it and it isn't the same as ours, you're doing it wrong. I'm just That's just the fact. Yeah, you know, I was thinking. Mm-hmm. Because, like, usually when we do these, there will be ones where I'm like, I mean, if it hadn't been pitted against that, it probably wouldn't have forward and it might have been the best. But this is one that I think actually is empirically the worst location. I think that Haunting of Castle At least Malloy, by our standards. I think Haunting of Castle Malloy was the only other one that I think really, the more we talked about it, the more I went, oh my god. Um, <laughs> so... Um, you know, I feel like we work better with uh, the negative space, uh, the like, oh, so we're, we're, we're subtracting the good yeah. as opposed to trying to pile up the, the, the pile up the good. It's, it's like, <sighs> oh, hey, there's more bad. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Uh, like so, don't yeah. spill the beans in here. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys, uh, replicate this experiment and tell us what your worst location in the games was um you can if you want you can just email it to us curlmeistersisters at gmail.com why not i don't get any emails right <laughs> just email it to us and also on discord and don't don't follow us on twitter twitter sucks yeah yeah Oh, uh, you can um, also find us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify. Um, I know a lot of you have found us on Spotify, so thank you for being there for us. Yeah, um, and I want to say thank you to all of our Apple Podcast <laughs> listeners in the Philippines. You keep us charting for some reason. <laughs> thank you very much. 
I don't know why you have us on, but I appreciate you. Um, but in those places, you can uh, leave us comments, tell us, you know, be like, hey, these, these, these salty bitches really do great brackets. See? See? Yeah. Our, you know what? I feel like that's our tagline, just in general. Crowmeister sisters, these salty bitches do great brackets. <laughs> I'm making oh. it a t-shirt. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you can support us on Twitch or Patreon.com slash Chromeister Sisters. I send you guys sneak peeks of things. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you also get emotes on Twitch. And you can use those emotes everywhere on Discord. If you have your Discord and your Twitch hooked up and you're a subscriber on Twitch, you can use our amazing uh, Dino Sax uh, <laughs> emote. In all the servers you're in, because that is our most important emote, in my opinion. Um, It's the one I use the most. Um, And also just sister, no, because why not? Sometimes you just need to be like, sister, no. (laughs) Uh, Or at least I do. Uh, So yeah. (laughs) As a reminder, I'm Risa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Krollmeister sisters. And we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy. 